grid tie inverter with mixed panels. Uh, let's talk about that, mixed panels. A simple rule when you're doing solar panels is that you shouldn't mix them. And if you mix them, they have to be mixed in a certain way to have the least loss possible. So this is what we're standing. That's 100 watt, 12 volt, 100 watt, 12 volt, 30 watt, 12 volt, 30 watt, 12 volt. So those are hooked up in series. So I have 24 volt over there and those are hooked up in series. They're 24 volt over there. That's a 60 watt system. That's a 200 watt system. And they're coming through the lines and they connect together and they're going in the house. And this is the part where you shouldn't mix them. So these produce 170 watts by themselves. Now, obviously there is no perfect environment where you're gonna get 100% out of the solar panels because of haze, smog, and other things like those. So 170 watts out of the 200 that are rated. These by themselves produce 40 watts out of the 60 watts they are rated. If I connect them separately to the grid tie inverter, I'm pulling in the house 40 and I'm pulling in the house 157, 160. So these are running at 78% efficiency. These are running at what, 66% efficiency? But when they're hooked, together so i have 24 volt 24 volt and they're going into a line now this is where things are getting a little bit tricky because the voltages between them always vary a little bit and because of those voltages vary they affect each other more than you think so what happens is that this entire system only gets about 177 watts when all of them are connected so remember i said 157 watts those are pulling in the house. These pull 40, so theoretically they should be over 200, right? But they're not because they affect each other. So when you mix and match them, you could always create some kind of problems like those. So that's why people always say it's better to buy them exactly in the same voltage, exactly in the same brand and shape and size. I do still have a gain of 20 watts when I hook up those into the circuit. Uh, why is because they do still put some power in but they don't put enough to make a difference they do put enough to make a difference if you have them for free these were just sitting in my garage so instead of having 157 watts i have 177 watts coming into the house into my grid tie inverter but the rule of thumb is that if you have to buy those separate and these separate it's not worth it so if you have to spend any money on those might as well just forget about it spend your money on exactly the same panels and that is why, is because the numbers don't lie. So there's a fine line, so should you mix them? Well, you still have marginal gains if you get them for free, as I did. But in a normal situation, if you have to pay money for them, the answer is no. Thanks for watching.